It's time for a summer travel edition of our monthly Ask a Vet segment. And Dr. Megan Callahan from Veterinary Emergency Group joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. So it's summer travel season, and we've, we want to talk to you about traveling with your pet. So I thought we should start off with uh, putting your pet in the proper carrier or a seatbelt, because I think it's always so cute when you see a dog with its tongue out, you know, outside the car window, but it's probably not the safest thing, right? Correct. So pets can actually be a projectile in an accident. We want to make sure that we're keeping ourselves and our pets safe by putting them in a carrier, a crate, or keeping them harnessed in. It's always a good idea to travel with somebody who can help with that as well. And we know it's hot in Florida, and that means it also gets hot in the vehicle, really, regardless of where you're traveling this summer. Uh, pets are susceptible to heat stroke, and like I said, not just in the car, but outside in that weather, too. Right, we see a lot of heat stroke at the emergency room. Um, you know, both pets left in the car and outside. We want to make sure we have proper shade and water available at all times. Yeah, we, whenever we get in our car with the dogs, we always make sure we've got a bottle of water with us just in case. Uh, and then you've got the rest stops. We're stopping to go, and so are our pets. Uh, any tips for people who are making those stops at rest stops? Because I know it can be busy with with traffic. Right, it can be busy, busy with traffic, people, and other pets. And so we'll wanna make sure to park a little bit away from the, the majority of the people in the other cars, making sure that we're, um, we're strapped in, we've got our leash attached, we've got a harness on if we have one, and we're secure before we open the car door um, and, and go out into the grass to use the restroom. Yeah, and, uh, and bring that doggy bag with you. We want to be courte courteous of other people <laughs> around us. Make sure you clean up after your pet. Okay, so we get stressed out when we're traveling, and so do our pets. They're not used to the traveling. How can we prep them for the trip so they're not too anxious? Can we? <laughs> We can do our best. So um, desensitization is the best is the best tool in this um, situation. So taking short day trips, um, car trips to the gas station and back, just getting them used to being in the vehicle. Um, and if if they're stressed to the point where desensitization doesn't work, there's always some drugs. So I recommend speaking with your family veterinarian for that. My dogs, every time I walk to the front door now, it's really upsetting because they think they're coming with us and they run around and spin and I'm like, no, you're not coming. So it does work if you've never taken your dog on a car ride. It does work taking them on those short trips, definitely. So um, when you're planning the travel, is there anything that you can do if your pet gets motion sickness? I know some do. So there are some medications that are, are prescription that can help with motion sickness. They are label approved for motion sickness, uh, but some, some of the desensitization uh, techniques can also help with that. Uh, just making sure that you're, you have a blanket or a towel or some potty pads with you so that you can clean the mess or um, contain the mess if that happens in the car or if you're traveling on a plane. All right, great tips. I'm sure it's going to help out a lot of people this summer. Thank you, Dr. Callahan. Thank you.